As a business owner with Cisco Business Equipment, you probably have experience with the web user interface, the UI. The web UI allows you to log into your device for access to several options, including configuration wizards, a navigation pane, drop-down menus, and even a help section. It's a simple guided way to set up and manage your devices. It's like learning to swim while having your own instructor by your side, helping as needed. Alternatively, the command line interface, CLI, is the traditional way to add or change configurations on some network devices, including Cisco business switches. If you're experienced, CLI can be a powerful tool to get things configured. You don't have to navigate through various web UI screens, which can change or be hard to find. The challenge of using CLI is that you need to know exactly what commands to enter. Maybe you are afraid of this mysterious deep end in the past, but are now ready to dip your toe in and begin learning the basics of CLI. Don't worry, no sharks here. I'll get you started. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to use the terminal on a Mac operating system to access the Cisco business switch by SSH and Telnet. Before you jump into using the terminal, you need to change a few settings so that terminal connections are allowed. Connect to the web user interface of the switch by entering the username and password. The default for both is Cisco in all lowercase letters. In this case, I have entered my personal credentials. Once your credentials are entered, click login. Now that you're logged into the switch, navigate to security and then TCP slash UDP services. Here, verify that Telnet and SSH services are enabled. Okay, now that's set, so click on Apply. A pop-up success message will appear, which will allow you to save the configuration on the switch permanently. Go to the top of the screen and click on the blinking Save icon. Moving over to the Mac for terminal access, you'll need Mac OS High Sierra version 10.13.6. To start, Open the terminal by clicking the launchpad icon on the dock. In the search field, simply type terminal and then click on terminal. Next, to access the switch via SSH, type SSH space and then enter the username of the switch, which is admin in this case. This should be followed by the at symbol and finally the switch IP address. In this example, I'm using 172.16.255.5. Once you have yours typed, press enter. When you log into the switch for the first time, you'll see an RSA key fingerprint option. Go ahead and type yes and press enter. Once that's done, you'll see the prompt to enter the username and password. Great, the switch is accessible now through the terminal via SSH. Now that I've covered SSH, it's time to talk about Telnet. It's important to note that Telnet access is not included with Mac OS, starting with the High Sierra release. Telnet is not as secure as SSH, so it's not recommended. However, if you still want to use Telnet, there are a few ways you can get this access. The first option is to run Windows on a virtual machine. This would allow you to use a wide variety of terminal emulators like PuTTY, TerraTerm, and others. The second way is to reinstall Telnet using the Homebrew option, details shown here. The third choice is to use a standalone terminal emulator such as Zoc, which has a 30-day free trial period. For this example, I have used the second option of reinstalling Telnet using Homebrew. Now that everything is installed successfully, to access the switch via Telnet, type the keyword Telnet and then enter the IP address of the switch. After pressing enter on the keyboard, type the username, admin in this case, and then the password. Voila, you should now have access to the switch. It's as simple as that. Now you know how to use terminal to connect to your Cisco business switch. Dive in when you're ready. Your future with CLI looks swimming. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.